So, I've decided to change direction in this painting. Um, I have all these really great patterns in here using doilies and different stencils I've cut in aerosols. And I really wanted to keep the patterns flowing through, but it's just not working. It's becoming a convoluted mess. I made two mistakes, trying desperately to, you know, be witty and, and really, ah, oh, I'm such a genius, mixing in folds into these these patterns, and that and using blue. For some reason I had to use like an icy baby blue in there with a little bit of navy blue. And overall it started becoming a convoluted mess. So what I've decided to do now is bag most of the, the pattern. It's interesting, it's fun, it's completely different. It's, it's kind of my signature right now, um, and it's also just not working. So I think what I'm going to do, instead of, you know, really forcing that pattern to be there, is smooth this out, smooth this part of her blouse out. I'm going to keep the folds, of course, folds in her arm, but I think some of this has just got to go, because it's not having that that flow, that natural feeling. It feels like I'm trying to force it into place. It feels like I'm trying to be witty and clever and, you know, oh, I'm so different. It feels that way to me. I need it to feel natural. I need it to feel comfortable so that this is not the focus of the painting. These two are, the relationship of them, the colors, the colors and the energy of the focus of the painting not me trying to force something to work that isn't working. Now when I do these videos, I talk about working the whole painting. Now this, this woman, I don't think I've done a video of her yet where she's sideways and upside down and on the floor and you know, she's everywhere. She's across the room then she's over there. But I have been doing it and that's the way I work. I can't work with, this is up and this is down. This is east, this is, this is east, this is west. The painting is a whole being. It's not one or two things, you know. It shouldn't feel like the focus is on one or two things. There's an entire canvas there that has to be worked. The entire canvas has to be worked at once, all the time, or it's going to feel disjointed, it is going to feel amateurish, it is going to feel forced. Exactly what this poor little area was feeling, amateurish and forced. But I want that. So what I've decided to do, in a hopefully non-cleverish way, I don't want it to feel like, oh, I am, a, I am a clever, tortured genius. What I've decided to do is smooth it out, get it to relax. Not heavy, heavy, heavy with paint, but mixing in my Neo Magil, going back to the teals that work so well with me, teals, whites, and blacks, instead of the blues everywhere, that just, it just was not working. Um, and then leaving some of the contrast, some of the some of the stencil to show through, some of the pattern to show through. But we don't need it everywhere. Because it was taking away from Marge and Pepe. It was taking away from their their relationship, their balance, their something or other that I'm not articulating right at this moment. And her sleeve was no longer a sleeve. It was a mess, is what it was. It was a terrific mess. So I'm going to be smoothing this out. And I also think, because I, I really, I don't work on paintings on a long period of time. I normally only take two, three days to get them out. But I've been really belaboring for many reasons or actually one or two big reasons, been belaboring over these two paintings for weeks. 
or now when I can get into the gallery, and it's making me nuts. So one of them, when I've been doing a three figures, may actually it, it may end up in the garbage bin, um, and I'll probably start a new one because I can't think anymore. And as I said earlier, I can't have the work feel forced. I can't have the focus be on what I'm doing wrong. Although that seems to be the focus of my life, everything I've done wrong, I'm trying desperately to not do that in my painting at least. To relax enough, to make it feel natural, to make it feel right. And also to help it flow. And although, you know, giving up a painting a few years ago would have seemed criminal to me, you know, oh, I'm an artist, I'm an artiste, and everything I do is so important. Every time my brush touches the canvas, it's the most important thing that's ever happened to mankind, and I have to hang on to it because blah, 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 blah. It's not true. Sometimes it's best to bag it. Just throw in the towel, give up. It's okay to give up once in a while. Give up, throw it in the dumpster, move on. Because there will be other projects. There will be other paintings. There will be other sleeves with patterns in them that I can make really just so fantastic. But for right now, this one has got to go. Just like that. Now I may step back and get very angry with myself that I covered it. Or, I might realize that I've simplified things enough where I can move on and I can make something even better than what I than what I thought I had. With all of my paintings, I do have a tendency to paint them ahead of time in my head. But because I haven't been able to get to my studio as often, because there's a lot of stress on me right now. Um, there's a lot of things going on. I haven't been able to picture this clearly and paint it through. So this is, I don't like painting this way, but I've been painting by the seat of my pants and hoping things will improve. And it shows. It shows in this painting. It shows in my three-figure painting that you can't see. It's out of camera range. But they fully illustrate exactly how I feel. They're chaotic messes. They feel tenuous. They don't feel healthy. They don't feel right. Now I'm just going to figure out how... I think, I think it would be best to say goodbye to that. Because it feels like a lot of things in my life, philosophically speaking, it feels like I'm hanging on to things that just don't work. That, that's starting to feel better. A few years ago, I realized that I had a tendency to hang on to people and things that just didn't work. Because I wanted them to work. And I figured if we hung in there long enough, they would get better. Sometimes, they don't. Sometimes it's just better to scale down, simplify. Simplify, simplify. And I'm saying this as I look at the three figures behind the camera, that really, it's not simplified. I, ugh, ugh, ugh. But there will be other paintings. It's not the beginning, it's not the end. See, this is I, I, I can feel it changing in my head. Like just when I like just like pardon me, just like when I cleaned out my house the first three times, and I simplified, simplified, simplified. I felt lighter. I felt better. Same thing that goes here. And the funny thing is, 
when I started simplifying my stuff, my artwork got better. I could see it clearer. I didn't have all this, all these doodads around me, all this furniture. So the painting is very much a metaphor for my life. Very much a metaphor for my moods. And again, we don't want to forget that you've got to touch. When we go down here, you got to go up here. You've got to go over here. You've got to paint in other directions to make it feel balanced. Just like life. I'm going to see about working on her sleeve. Simplifying this whole section. And I'm going to leave this bottom section kind of raw. I love the way it feels down there. I don't know if the camera is catching it, but it's just a rawness down, down, down below her um, right arm that I just love. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But simplify, simplify, simplify. And don't forget my biggest rule. It's all fixable. Thank God it's all fixable. Maybe not necessarily in life, but in painting. It's all fixable. It's all fixable. Ciao.